Next we have the Reggie drill, or I, I guess now we have to call it the Altuve drill, based on our second baseman friend with the Houston Astros. The Reggie or the Altuve drill is really to get the hitters to almost overfeel themselves sitting in their legs and creating angles, especially on that pitch that's down. Many good hitters, as you'll notice, at the major league level and even at the college level, they're looking or hunting for balls bottom of the strike zone. The ball down in the strike zone, we now know with technology, hit tracks, all the other technology that's out there, ball down in the strike zone is easier to create backspin and to elevate, or as we say at Frozen Ropes, let's elevate to celebrate. The Reggie drill, named after Reggie Jackson and the patented swing that he had back in the 70s and 80s, and even a guy like Altuve that can really stay in his legs and drive balls um, from this position, you, you'll watch the hitter now, he or she will just basically do almost a lunge in the middle of their swing to create the angle that they're looking for to elevate that bottom pitch. Again, you'll notice the sword still has the finish, but right in the middle of that swing, right, you'll see a sit down. The nice thing about the sit down, if we've got a hitter that has hip rotation that's a little bit too aggressive too early, the sit down will slow that down just a little bit. You can't go down on the back knee and, and overturn the hip at the same time. We love this drill for hitters that uh, either top spin too many balls or are swinging level all the time. This really gets them to understand that if they go down slightly, once their eyes tell them to bring the barrel down, they have a better chance of elevating the pitch.